Oh, here we go. Yes, we are officially back. Welcome and good morning. It is another episode of Get Up and Get Rad with Kipper, a daily YouTube video series where we run down all the different things that you can be excited about on a daily basis. It is Thursday, February 17th, and we've got a lot to be excited about, so let's get into it. All right, after a brief intermission earlier this week. We are coming back swinging and I am excited. Uh, hey, y'all, let's take a moment um, to talk about this video series because I really have no idea what I'm doing, nor do I know why I'm doing it. Uh, I know that I really wanted to feel connected to people in my life after leaving my morning radio show and, well, it's, it's, it's different, you know? Uh, this isn't something where you can call in and say, hey, how you doing? Uh, I, I'm throwing this out there. You can leave comments like my mom did a couple of days ago, uh, but I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, is this something that you're enjoying? My biggest question here, and, and I'm hoping you can leave some comments or let me know, uh, is what, when do you watch these? Do you want to watch these on the morning of the day that they come out? Or should this video series be something where we talk about what you could be excited about the following day? Rather than saying, hey, it's February 17th and today is National Random Acts of Kindness Day and you should be going out and doing something randomly nice for someone. Would it be better if you had a day to prepare for that niceness? I don't know, please let me know. Tell me your thoughts. You can leave some comments, or if you've got my Instagram, you can hit me up there. Um, until then, you can mash that subscribe button. I, I, I'm trying to do what I've been told helps promote these channels. So uh, yes, thank you for bearing with me. Once again, no clue what I'm doing, but I do know some interesting facts about today. So let's rewind that. Start it off with the fact that today is National Random Acts of Kindness Day. In fact, this entire week is Random Act of Kindness Week, but I guess that there's an extra emphasis on today. So today, if you were to do any Random Act of Kindness this week, would be the best day to do it. And that being said, can we take a moment to say that a Random Act of Kindness is not the same as paying it forward, and paying it forward at a Starbucks line does nothing but cause chaos for any and all people involved, including your Starbucks, Starbucks employees. Okay, so here's the whole deal. There's this habit, okay, where people like say, I'm gonna pay for whatever the person behind me just ordered and then supposedly they're supposed to take on the bill for the next person. Here, let's stop that. Um, instead, may I say that uh, get in line in person and perhaps offer to pay for the person in front of you, okay? It's a, less, a lot less chaotic, and that person has the ability to say, I don't know, because this whole paying it forward thing only works out uh, as long as people want to do it, and what if you get stuck with an entire, entire office order worth of Starbucks, and your entire bank account sees a prime dip due to this uh, extension in this, this need, this necessity to keep things going? Okay, that's me getting off my soapbox. We have a lot more to talk about because today is also Pluto Day. Back on this day, February 17th in 1930, uh, the former planet Pluto was discovered. Yes, it is still a dwarf planet, but uh, when I was a kid, it was the ninth planet in the solar system and it will always have a very cool place in my heart. Okay, uh, next up, celebrating a work anniversary uh, on this day in 2014, Jimmy Fallon hosted The Tonight Show for the first time and has been doing so for eight years with The Roots as his house band. So yay, Jimmy Fallon. Um, I, I'm not a, a, a huge supporter. Uh, I gotta say, I've never actually seen an episode, but I do like it when we have pop stars like Ariana Grande show up and do uh, celebrity impersonations. So you got that going for you. All right, uh, next up. Oh man, this is a good one. Um, this, this is important because uh, on this day in 1989, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure had its debut in theaters. Wild Stallions! Okay, um, 
Let's talk more about this because there's a very interesting fact involved with this movie because there's this famous prop, okay? A telephone booth that Bill and Ted use to travel through time. And you may think that, oh, that phone booth is perhaps at Universal Studios or maybe some very lucky planet Hollywood. No, friends, that original phone booth prop was given away as a promotional prize by Nintendo Power in 1991. Yes, there was an absolutely awful Nintendo game based on Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Uh, and in order to promote it, they gave away the original prop. Um, I, I've seen playthroughs of this video game. It's mostly silent, except for some sound effects and completely bizarre in its gameplay. Don't go hunting out a ROM of this. You're gonna regret it. It's not good. But some guy had the uh, got the got the original phone booth and they tracked them down on Reddit and even had a very awkward ask me anything with with the guy. Um, that's something that will live in internet infamy forever. Okay, so uh, that's uh, that. It's February seventeenth. We've got more things to be excited about tomorrow, and it'll be a weekend as well. Until then, get up, get red, get out there, and get awesome. <laughs>